Ghost Stories is arguably one of the worst animes of the late 2000s, with its poor character, cliched storylines, and repetitive horror tropes for 20 episodes straight. Yet, this show left a huge legacy in anime history. This commercial bomb turned into a cult classic when ADV was left to produce an English dubbed version of it in 2005. The instructions they got from the Japanese studios that produced the show was as simple as this. Do whatever you think will make the show sell. Think of a big black man chasing you! <laughs> Well, he's not racist. Even if you're an anime fan, there's a chance you haven't heard of this anime before. And I wouldn't blame you, it is a pretty obscure anime. So let's take a step back and see what it's all about. In 2000, Fuji TV aired Gakko no Kaiden, which literally translates to School Ghost Stories, an anime that was based on a book series of the same name, which follows Satsuki, her brother Ketchiro, and her ghost-busting friends, Hajime, Leo, and Momoko. So let's get to know the gang. Satsuki is a strong-headed leader who inherits a book from her dead ghost-busting mother that outlines the step to defeat every single ghost they ever encounter. Ketchiro, Satsuki's brother, is the youngest in the group and he's easily scared by the ghosts they fight along the way. Hajime is a white knight who's always there to help the gang, specifically Satsuki, and he's also Satsuki's neighbor. Leo is a paranormal nerd who is a self-proclaimed paranormal researcher, and Momoko is Satsuki's best friend who has psychic abilities and apparently helps the gang track down ghosts that needs to be put to rest. Simply put, this is what it would be like if Japan made Scooby-Doo, except the ghosts from the Japanese and Chinese legends happen to be real and not just some guy in a Halloween costume. The story goes a little something like this. Satsuki and Ketro moved back to the town where their parents first met each other after their mom died, and started going to the same primary school where their parents went to. On the first day of school, Ketro's cat, Kaya, runs into the old abandoned schoolhouse. Satsuki and Ketro runs into the abandoned schoolhouse to find the cat, as you should. Hajime, Leo, and Momoko kind of just show up out of nowhere in this old schoolhouse, and it's apparently revealed to be the campsite for every single ghost to ever exist in Japan. As they are chased down by evil spirits, they encounter a book written by Satsuki's mother detailing about the evil spirits in the schoolhouse, and conveniently about the one they just ran into as well, and how to put each one to spiritual sleep. The gang tries to find out what the crazy book says and puts their first evil spirit, Amono Jaku, to sleep. They thought it was successful until they realized that it apparently went into the body of Kaya, the cat, instead of spiritual sleep, because they can't read, I guess? The gang later finds out that the reason that all the ghosts are currently mad is because of the nearby construction and renovation in the areas that Sasuke's mom put all the ghosts to spiritual sleep. Basically, from that point on, every episode is like an episode of Scooby-Doo. The gang gets themselves into a situation where a ghost haunts them, they look up in the book left by Satsuki's mother on how to put each one to eternal sleep, and then they do it. That's, that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. For the whole show, for 20 episodes, and it somehow gets worse in the last three episodes, everything about this anime was just generic, lacked originality, and felt like a reskin of other ghost hunting shows that already existed before it. Sometimes you even forget that the story centers around primary school children because of scenes like this. The outro song even features the words sexy sexy to its lyrics. I tried putting it in the video, but due to copyright reasons, it gets blocked. You either have to take my word for it or go look up the ending yourself, because I am not shitting you, this is what they actually decided to put in at the end of a kid's show. So it's no-brainer that this show ended up with one season by the late 2000s, and the studio declared it as a commercial failure. And hoping to regain some of the money lost, and to break even, they handed the anime to the American dubbing studio, ADV, in 2005. Awesome, okay. ADV got the rights to a show called Ghost Stories in High School. Um, it was, putting it nicely, a turd of a show. Um, <laughs> even the Japanese, when they licensed it, told ADV, look, this didn't do well on TV. You may have to work with this show a little bit. And they asked, what can we do? And they're like, well, you can do whatever you think will make this show sell. <laughs> the anime was picked up by Animax, and they tasked AD Vision, or ADV for short, to make the English dub for the show. Since the show was a flop in Japan, ADV was told to do whatever they wanted to make the show a hit, and gave ADV three guidelines. One, the name of any characters, including the ghosts, cannot be changed. Two, 
The way that all the ghosts are killed is based on actual Japanese or sometimes Chinese ghost legends, hence they cannot be changed. And three, the meaning of the episodes cannot be changed. These guidelines were quite loose for dubbing, and ADV could have taken any path they wanted to from A to B as long as they follow the guidelines. This, essentially, was a once in a lifetime opportunity for dubbing studios to have creative control over an existing story and the ability to retell it however they wanted. And oh boy, did they go completely batshit crazy with this one. ADV practically turned this horror anime into a black comedy. Of course, the overall story is pretty much the same because of the guidelines, but the characters have been given a drastic personality change for comedic effect. Satsuki is now a teenage girl obsessed with getting boob jobs. I'll get bigger breasts and a tighter ass the old-fashioned way, plastic surgery. Ketro is basically a crybaby and constantly speaks gibberish because of his dyslexia. Where's the damn cat? But he... <laughs> what? Hajime is an arrogant pervert who is desperately trying to get laid. You're the new transfer student, aren't you? Yes, but it's none of your business. I guess you're the new pervert. Whatever! I was here first, you know. Listen, you flashed me, remember that! Leo is a Jewish otaku who's also desperately trying to get laid. <laughs> Geeks run the world! But they're not getting their peepees waxed now, are they? And Momoko becomes an evangelical Christian, reborn into this world to constantly preach about the gifts of Jesus Christ. You're such brave, strong, handsome men. Have you accepted Jesus as your personal savior? No, I'm Jewish! The complete mischaracterization of the main cast completely changed the way that the show played out. The dub plays a couple of things to its strength, such as meta-commentary. Where's everybody? I don't know. Obeying horror movie rules, I'm going to go out alone. You stay here while I go out looking for help. Okay. Poking fun at the low-budget animation. Oh my god, what the hell's happening here? These are the fastest lip-slaps I've ever had to sink! <sighs> making political jokes and associating certain characters with certain sides. I'm feeling an immense sense of evil emanating from a liberal broadcasting studio. Uh oh and pop culture references that didn't age too well. Remember what I was telling you about your mother's cooking, Satsuki? Well, these dumplings would do your mother and Paula Dean proud. If uh, Paula was Japanese. Surprisingly, the dub actually sometimes fixes some of the mistakes that the original anime makes. In this sequence I can't show you because of copyright reasons, the girl chants a magical phrase over and over again and tries to get the monster to go away. But in the ADV dub they turn this around, and instead of chanting out the magical phrases, the character actually spills her heart out about why she doesn't want the monster to exist anymore although she was the one to bring the monster from the dead. It actually shows better character development as this character is thinking and reflecting about their feelings instead of just chanting a magic word. I really wanted to include this scene into the video because it's one of my favorite scenes from the anime, but due to worldwide copyright issues, I can't really use it. So your best bet right now is to either actually go watch the anime yourself after this video, or go look up the video on YouTube because some other people have managed to do it without getting blocked worldwide. In a 2011 panel with Monica Rio, the voice actor for Momoko, she discussed how Ghost Stories was one of the exceptions when it came to anime she could improvise dialogues for, and how the voice actors went about it during recording. But yeah, it was the first time that, that we had creative license and there was no script written for the show. Uh, we wrote it as we went along. We improvised the whole thing. Awesome. So you wanted to be the first person in. Because if you were the first person in, that meant you were the guy with all the jokes, and everybody else had to be the straight man. So it was kind of a fight to see who could get in first. Oh. <laughs> because then they set the scene, and then everybody else had to match that. I mean, it really was the best thing you could do with a bunch of actors who were just trying to outdo one another. Now, some of you might not be so surprised by the existence of gag dubs like these. After all, it's the basis of how fan abridged anime is dubbed. But unlike the abridged dubs, ADVs wasn't created for a niche community that already enjoyed the original, but to introduce it to a whole new audience. As mentioned earlier, the only reason that Ghost Stories has a dub like this was because of the commercial failure when it originally ran in Japan in 2000. But in a video by the cartoon Cypher titled Should There Be More Anime Dubs Like Ghost Stories, they were able to obtain some archived discussion threads of enthusiastic fans praising the show's original Japanese release. Aside from the happy fans of the series, viewer count analytics also show Ghost Stories to have had a pretty high viewership, given a 7.30pm time slot on Sunday combined with it being a kid's show. Its viewership rate beats even the likes of Digimon Adventure Season 2. It even ranked number one on a local Japanese anime database website for animes that came out in the year 2000. 
but despite this respectable viewership, we can only assume that the studio did not think it was good enough for the show, and as the cartoon ciphers have concluded, the fact that Ghost Stories didn't reach the studio's expectations may have been the reason that they simplified the show's poor performance as poor reception to the ADV dubbing team. Now, we may never know the true cause of this perfect storm of a dub, but regardless of how it was brewed, one thing is certain, an anime dub like this may probably never happen again. At least, as an official shitpost dub, like this one anyway. With fan-made abridged series being taken down on YouTube for copyright infringement, although it complies with fair use, and the fact that it's been 15 years since a dub like this was ever officially released, it's pretty safe to say that this might not happen again. Even Ghost Stories themselves got a faithful dub once it aired on Animax. <laughs> yeah, no. No thank you. So, go do yourself a favor and give the ADV dub a watch. The entire show is available on Crunchyroll in glorious 480p. I, I mean, it's an anime from the 2000s, what do you expect? And no, this video is not sponsored by Crunchyroll. I literally can't get a sponsorship. Even though I'm not sponsored, I still love this anime, and that's why I made this video. I just wanted to share my love for this anime with you guys, and I hope you enjoy it as well, especially through these tough times. But with that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, be sure to hit a like and subscribe for more content like this. Sorry it took so long for this to get edited. I was busy watching Shira um, from seasons two to five. It's a really good show. It's a really, really good show. Some good TV in a really long time. Anyways, I'm going off on a tangent, but um, that is all for this video, and I'll see you guys next time.